there, it's Brittany Chavers, and I'm back today with Jesse James beads and dress it up buttons, and we're gonna make some jewelry. Um, I'm gonna be using uh, holiday candies. Uh, this is a dress it up Disney collection of buttons. I'm also going to be using, um, this is wreaths and canes. I've already opened this one. Um, it's got little Minnie and Mickey wreaths and candy canes. I'm gonna be using some glue and um, some Jesse James beads. Using some of these strawberry rhubarb mini mix and this elf strand from the holiday line. So let's get started. We're gonna make at least a bracelet and um, a necklace, but we might make more. To get started, I am just going to take the two mini uh, looking candy cane ones from the mix, or uh, from the wreath mix, and I'm gonna cut off the shank at the back. So that's gonna leave a piece that you know, may come undone. I'm just gonna take my um, E6000 and dab just a tiny bit of glue over it. I'm gonna do that for both of the mini buttons. And then you'll set that to dry for at least 20 minutes to an hour. I am also going to do with the um, holiday candies uh, buttons, cut off the shanks of a green and a red. I'm not sure which ones I want to use yet. I'm just gonna cut off the shank like I just did on the other one. And I am going to glue on a jump ring. I'll take my glue, put a dab at the top. I'm just gonna pick up my jump ring with my pliers. It's a little easier to maneuver that way. And I'm going to put the open part of the jump ring right on that glue, okay? And the pliers will help me maneuver my jump ring. I am going to also take like a head pin or an, a stray piece of wire and just make sure that that jump ring becomes embedded in that glue. And I'm going to turn it over to make sure that my jump ring is kind of symmetrical at the top. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing with the red and set those aside again. I also did that gluing technique with a candy cane mini. For the bracelet project, you'll need one pack of these buttons, and then for the necklace, you'll need one pack because we need ultimately three minis. To start with the bracelet. I've already cut and glued my little shanks on the back of two of these mini candy cane um, buttons, and I'm gonna turn them like that. I have two really large jump rings. I think these are 10 or 12 millimeter. And I've opened them. I'm gonna slide one end on and then slide the other button on as well and then close that up. So we're kind of making like a, a bracelet bar in the middle here. And I'm gonna secure that with a second jump ring. You can use wire here if you don't have a jump ring this large and just create your own um, by wrapping it around a mandrel. All right, so we have our two jump rings uh, securing our buttons like that. And then I'm gonna take some crystals from the Strawberry Rhubarb Mini Mix and um, put two right here and two right here and then same on the other side. And then I grab the Mickey version of our buttons. I've also cut the shank off of the back and I'm gonna put um, his ears towards our beads on both sides. And then I have four more crystals from my mix, one right here, one right here, and then one right there and one right there. And we're gonna connect all of these with jump rings and eye pins. You can do wire wrapped loops, but I think it's gonna be a little easier on my hands if we just do some simple loops on this bracelet. So I put one bead on an eye pin, bend it at a 90 degree angle, and then snip. And then I'm gonna do that for each of these beads. And then once I've done that for each of these beads, I will take my pliers and then turn my loop back towards my bead just like that. 
I'm gonna do that for all the beads on the bracelet. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything, starting with my little crystals. And then I'm gonna take my jump rings. Again, we're using those large jump rings to get around um, the thickness of the buttons. And I am just going to attach one end to each ear, one of Mickey's ear and one of um, Minnie's ear. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna do the other ear um, and then this the other side of the bracelet. I actually found some seven millimeter um, jump rings that worked really well um, once I didn't have to have them go around two um, buttons. So I ended up changing out the larger jump rings for the smaller jump rings. Here is the bracelet, it is so cute. <laughs> and um, I just added a little um, smaller bling ball from the mix at the end there. I'm gonna grab the toggle from the strawberry rhubarb mix and we're just going to take the um, eye pins and secure it right on. You could use a jump ring here. I just didn't need any more length um, for the bracelet. If you wanted to make it um, adjustable, just use a, a uh, just use a lobster clasp and a piece of chain, um, so you can grab onto the chain anywhere. Or you can just string a couple of these loops on and um, clasp it anywhere in one of these loops. And there we go, there's our first project. Super easy, but high impact and so cute. I love it, it makes me so happy. And that it's Disney and Christmas. It's just such a yummy bracelet. All right, so we have our first piece. Um, here is our pendant or connector that I've made out of the candy cane and I'm gonna grab this little flower that was in the strawberry rhubarb mix and I'm gonna use a jump ring to connect the two All right, so there is part of our necklace, it's super duper cute. It almost looks like a poinsettia. And then I'm gonna grab our um, elf strand. This is probably gonna be a mixed metals project because there's a lot of silver going on, but I think it looks good. Um, I'm gonna open this up. The cool thing about these strands from Jesse James Beads is you can kind of just string them as is if you need to. Um, it, but because the designers at Jesse James Beads make cute mixes and cute strands, but we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm just going to move everything back and kind of see what I have. We're going to use these little bicones, the pearls, and then I'm also going, I still have a bunch of crystals from the strawberry rhubarb and some other beads, um, that I'll incorporate to get more red in. Definitely want to use these greens. I liked the thought of the stacked spacers. I've been seeing that quite a bit. Um, through Jesse James Beads, through other Jesse James Beads designers, and um, even on Pinterest and Instagram. So I think that's a look that we're gonna be seeing a lot more of, just stacked spacers. Uh, I like how those two look together. 
trying I think we're going to we're gonna leave out this boho we, we're gonna put in the other boho up here and again I'm gonna do more stack spacers because I really like how that looks and then I'll put some gold at the top here actually gonna put one gold space or one gold bead cap right there just to get some gold towards the front and I'm gonna string I'm gonna string on some uh, 19 strand bead along bead stringing wire and silver I'll need one more jump ring for the pendant we could always um, wire wrap on a bead but I think I'm just gonna go with a jump ring today is the bail All right, take my beetle on and start stringing. All right, so I went back and forth between um, gold and silver, and I really wanted this to be more mixed metal, so I'm going to go with some gold chain reaction from Jesse James Beads. This does all the work for me. <laughs> that way I can spend more time making different projects than... Um, making beaded chain so I'm gonna open up this chain now you want to be very careful when you're cutting um, the jump ring on the chain reaction that is out of memory wire it's not just a re regular jump ring so you either want to use um, memory wire shears or just slide the piece off of the jump ring I'm gonna cut it and I am not sure how long I want this necklace, so I'm just gonna secure it onto um, one end of my core, or one end of my chain, and then I'll determine um, how long I want it later. So I'm gonna put on a crimp bead, then slide my um, chain on, and then come back through that crimp bead, and get out my crimping pliers, making sure that those wires don't cross. They're actually kind of crossed right now. So I'm gonna make sure that they're no longer crossed. And then I am gonna go ahead, slip that crimp bead into the largest valley of my crimping pliers. And then I am going to squish, turn 90 degrees, move up, squish again, and do it one more time gonna slide the end of that wire into a couple of my beads just because I like how it looks not that it actually gives it any stability some people don't if you want to cut it right at the crimp bead totally fine I'm gonna cut that and then slide everything down all right I'm gonna cut off this was on my spool. I'm just going to cut it off now. Slide on my other crimp. Find the other end of my chain, which it's it's not symmetrical right now because I crimped right onto that bead. I think I'm going to cut off this little length just because I want the two front pieces of the chain to match. But I can save this to make earrings from later. Come back through just like we did before on the other side. And then I will crimp. And turn. And turn again. I'm going to cut my wire here. 
Now we have a really cute necklace, but I'm gonna make sure, actually I think that's the length I'd like it to be. I'm just gonna cut it in half in the back. And the way I'll do that is lining up my two pieces right here and determining where the middle is. So the middle is this, this crystal in the back. I'm just gonna cut that off. One jump ring I'll attach to a lobster clasp. I like to put the lobster clasp on the right side of my um, necklace just because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, it might be a little easier for you to clasp if you put it on the left-hand side of your necklace, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> just a little easier for me to maneuver with my right hand. And then I'll put a, just a blank jump ring on the other side to hook onto. All right, I'm gonna close this up. And here is our cute little Christmas necklace using all sorts of goodies from Jesse Jane Speeds and Dress It Up, combined with our really fun bracelet. But I had some beads left over from the Elf Strand and I still have some from Strawberry Rhubarb. Um, and I have some, and some choices to make because I did one red and one green um, peppermint thinking I was gonna put one of them on the bracelet, but I didn't end up doing that. But now I, I, have, I can make a pair of earrings. I don't know if I wanna do just a green pair or if I wanna do an asymmetrical pair with red and green. I think I'm just going to do the green pair. Um, I have some more of these spacers and I think we're going to do just a quick earring using those. Let me go into my mix and grab another blink ball. I'm going to grab an eye pin and hook it on my charm and you can do this after you put your beads on but I'm gonna do it while it's um, hanging there and then I'm gonna put on my sheriff star the crystal rondelle spacer the flower and actually that might be a little funky because of how the sheriff star is hitting the Mickey but we'll see and if we don't like it, we can change it. Yeah, I don't like that too much, but I think I can fix it. Got these guys and these. So I'm going to change. You're going to put on the bicone. Yeah, I like the bicone. So then I'll put on the Sheriff Star. There we go. I think it's very sparkly. And that's the thing I want when I'm thinking about holiday parties. I want sparkle. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and create a simple loop. And I'm just gonna make sure that's tight and then cut off the excess. So you see how there's some overlap there just because I didn't really know how long to cut it. And I think we're good there. All right, grab some Beetalon ear wires. They're super easy. Open that up and slide that on. Hopefully it's in the right direction. It is. And there we go. That is such a sparkly, fun. It looks like it looks like a party. And it kind of it looks like candy because of the Mickey. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Willy Wonka. <laughs>
And here we go. I'm so excited I got to use these really cute buttons today. Um, if you're interested in seeing other videos using buttons um, from Dress It Up to make jewelry, please check out my YouTube channel, Turquoise Street. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you to Jesse James Beads and Dress It Up Buttons for having me back. And I hope you have a fun holiday season. Have a good one. Bye-bye.